firstly, thank you for this invite. It's a real honor to be here. My name is Alice Bamford. I am a farmer. I farm a biodynamic farm called Wangan Ranch in Malibu. In a moment, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what we do there. To help explain why we do what we do and why it matters so very much to me, allow me, though, to begin with a few reflections about the dominant farming system in the world today, chemical industrial farming. What do we mean by chemical industrial farming? We mean chemical fertilizers. We mean intensive plowing. We mean growing crops out of season. We mean pesticides, herbicides, and insecticides. We mean monocropping and no or next to no crop rotation. We mean confined livestock on unnatural diets, supplemented by antibiotics and hormones. And we mean genetically modified organisms. We mean a system of farming that has shockingly depleted the soil of nutrients, caused fertile topsoils to, top to erode, and contaminated our fresh water ecosystem and water supply. We mean a system of farming that's unsustainably bad for biodiversity, just think for a moment about those collapsing bee colonies. Finally, we mean a system of farming that's unsustainably dangerous for human health. I refer to the nitrates in our water supply, to all those hormones and antibiotics, and to the growing number of pesticide-related illnesses in rural areas, especially among agricultural workers. I refer to the links between pesticides and obesity, between chemical fertilizers and diabetes, and between genetically engineered foods and yet another growing problem, allergies. I refer, too, to the higher levels of toxic metals in non-organic fruits, vegetables, and cereals. Metals such as cadmium, which can cause kidney failure, bone softening, and liver damage. I could go on and on. We are, said Michael Pollan, what food our food eats. He is right. And you want to know something? We're not feeding our food very well. There is, however, another way. There is organic farming, farming that works in harmony, sustainably, with the natural environment. Farming that uses no synthetic fertilizers or pesticides, or antibiotics, or hormones, or GMOs. Biodynamic farming, the farming we do at Wangan Ranch, is a form of organic farming devised by Rudolf Steiner in the 1920s. However, it's also what I like to call beyond organic. So that you can understand what I mean, let me tell you about the principles and the way we do things at Wangan Ranch. Biodynamic farmers believe in the connectedness of all things in the natural world. Soil, plant, animal, and of course, human well-being included. And we manage the farm as a single, self-sustaining, closed-loop ecosystem. It's a safe haven in which all things connect, in which we take from the land but also give back to it, in which soil health is primordial. We grow our own food. We grow food for our animals, which also graze the land. And we ensure that all unsold produce is returned to the ranch and fed to the goats and pigs. We never use artificial fertilizers. Instead, we use a nutrient and bacteria-rich compost. Our soil, is healthy, our soil is healthy soil that holds water and nutrients, supports healthy plant roots, and produces strong crops that are relatively resistant to pests and diseases. Our animals are healthy too, and so is our food. I should mention something else in which we believe, the connectedness of, of our world, and therefore our farm to the wider cosmos. Like all biodynamics of whom, by the way, there are thousands, we plant and harvest our crops according to the cycles of the moon. Is it crazy to think that matters? I don't think so. It's crazier to me, far crazier, to forget who and what we are, to forget the connections between all life, all matter, and all natural laws. It seems far crazier to lose our respect for nature, to stop caring for nature, to forget that it's nature that sustains us, it seems far crazier to stop caring for ourselves. It seems to me that chemical industrial farming is far, far crazier than what we do. Thank you very much.